great as you can see I've actually stripped it down which is a good thing really because I did after the last video I did um, I found out I got the backs out so yeah I'm going to install LEDs into there as it's got a huge back piece on there as well wait a minute um, I'm quite happy with it actually because I didn't realise that the, the actual lights would come out but they have so the only problem I've got is this how do I get that off because that will not budge I've tried everything I've even used a hundred pound Bentley fucking polish and it won't it still won't move this tacky piece of shit so if one of my viewers are watching can you have some advice on how to get rid of this because this is going to mess things up because oh, I don't know um, I'm alright with it it's, I'm happy with it you know it's pure plastic now it's you know it's due to let's put the light on this instead yeah, I think personally it's going to look okay. It's a shame that the the window is blue, but that'll cover up all the internal electrics on it. Or I can most probably try and buy some. In, so I don't want a character in there. Um, it's just that problem there, really. If I can get rid of that, I'm laughing. But this should be quite a project. But also, before you go, I found out it's got an antenna hole. Here, can you see it? It's a bit of plastic. Now in there, there's a hole, and yes, an antenna tube will fit in there. So I'm going to pull it off. We we'll go. No, you wreck it. It's going to come off anyway because I've got to put spray on it. So, oh shit. There we go. And there you are. One antenna hole. So I can rig the antenna through there. So it'll leave it on its own like American style antenna in that hole there. So I made it with that. So yeah, there it is. There's the project project kit. Project kit as I would call it. Um might get some wing mirrors actually and bling factor. Don't want to go too far. But yeah, um don't know what to use to rub it down with. Never really done it this way before. I've always done it from the inside, spraying. And um, any tips, please advise me because I, I want to just give it a little spray down and then cover it with a grey and then wet and dry it a little bit. But I've found there's a crack on here. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, there. See it? There's a bit. So I don't. It, it sits well. We should have just take the risk and put a bit of filler on it, but I don't know. But that is that's it. And it'd look quite mad as a pickup, actually, wouldn't it? Uh, but no, this is going to stay as kit. But if I don't like the window, which I most probably do anyway, it's just me being awkward. Now I. <laughs> Quite good, isn't it? <laughs> right then, that was a stroke of luck. So I'm going to put this to one side because this is going to be rubbed down and sprayed um, grey, car grey, so I can get all the colour out of it and get it to stand out a bit more. A couple of coats on. I might even see if there's anything I can use to get this sticky stuff off. I don't know what that is. And I, it might come off with a bit of soapy water, just a nice run over it and keep rubbing it till it, you know, comes off. But it's very thick and it, it slitty into the plastic. I hope not because it's over like 20 years old. Um, that should come off. Um, scared, I don't know if I'm using turbs or fucking white spirit will damage it, you see, with it being this type of plastic. But it's solid, you know, it's kind of looking at want it to look at it's going to destroy itself but yeah um i might not stay with the standard black color i might go midnight black which has got little bits of glitter in it and it look like, i think i want to go for something it's going to keep his night rider but i want the body work to still be black with a, a twinge or something so to speak but yeah there you go <laughs> 
There she is. All done, ready to be rubbed down under, uh, you know, under under coat, and another rub down, and another under coat, and rub down, and then the first coat of the paint. Then, but personally, I didn't think it was going to fit. Even though I was speaking to my friends on here about it, they was like, oh, "You got to do it." Well, I've done it now, so I need help. How to get the sticker off? What can I use? Um, what's the best? undercoat to use on it should they use a, a plastic bumper spray you know from automotives or should they use Tammy's spray and get ripped off the fun of getting ripped off but um put that there and it's safe now we've all seen that before um somebody asked me what a micro t is right micro t this is a micro t Yes, in the size of it, and it's an RC car, and it pops wheelies and everything. It's by Team Lozzy. It's it's only little, that's what she said. Um, but I've just won some shocks, which is you, know, you can see that now. It's fucking brilliant now. It's, she's a fast little bugger. Um, I actually robbed the the radio gear, not this, the radio gear. I'm putting the TLO one because I like the, the grip shift for it, but it's ball raced as you can see. You know, I've done a a few modifications to it. Um Yeah, that's a micro T. And it's like a, it's like a short course stadium buggy as well. You get with it and it is there. Yes, it's the same stuff our RC cars come with. So that's a micro T and that's for sale. On its own with no radio gear, I want thirty pound for it, and it's yours. I'll pay for the packaging. That's how much of a nice guy I am. If you want it, inbox me, uh, because I'm keeping the radio gear. Hence why it's so cheap. Um, Thirteen thirty pound, or I'll swap it for a a good radio gear, a complete radio gear, because I need it. But whatever you got, but the end dates for sale for thirty pound. It'll be on eBay. Um, but at the moment, until I put the shocks on, it's staying in the garage where it belongs. Um, right, I'm off. I've got me vodka and lime here. <laughs> right then, I'll see you soon. And take care and please rate and subscribe and do what you got to do. As I said to you, don't fucking troll on my sites because I've heard it all before. It's nothing new. It's just another way of being a complete wimp and a bully. Um, yeah, there you go. So... I'm gonna celebrate.